this video is literally being produced with the help of a palm tree holding my phone. Um, but I wanted to talk today about, and there is thunder in the background, I'm on my morning coffee walk, I gotta get back, but I wanted to talk about um, Airbnb purchasing because I got a lot of great feedback from my video yesterday. So um, some considerations, because I've actually done this before, considerations for if, you're, if you want to buy an investment property for short-term rentals. Number one is check the local regulations with um, where you're thinking about buying. A lot of places have limitations on short-term rentals. So, um, and a lot of it is, is done, I mean, it's kind of crazy. In here in Safety Harbor, it's done with spot zoning. So there's like literally, you could buy and rent a short-term rental here, you could not buy and rent a short-term rental there. Um, the other thing to consider is that the market isn't the same market everywhere you go. <clears throat> oh, I got morning voice still. Um, so I'm coming from obviously the Southern Maine, Seacoast, New Hampshire, Southern New Hampshire market and our market is crazy busy. It's still a crazy seller's market and um, stuff goes on the market. It goes under agreement for over asking price within a few days. But here, for instance, the market is changing and it's really opening up. Agents are pretty busy. There's a lot of listings. They're staying on the market. They're staying on the market for a little bit of time. They are uh, dropping in price. We're seeing price reductions. So look at different markets. You might not want to buy a house on Winnipesaukee uh, as a short-term rental. You may want to buy somewhere else. That might be a good vacation spot for you. So once you've done that, um, you know, found a few places that you want, checked with the local regulations, a good, um, a good resource is just even calling the planning department if you are not savvy with finding that stuff online. Tampa Bay lightning. <laughs> um, so uh, then there is, you can get this program called AirDNA, which is basically Airbnb's data program. And you can research. I mean, you can do it without this. So what I did was I did it without it for a while and I just looked at the, you know, what was, where I want, like Safety Harbor. It was in Safety Harbor. So I looked at, you know, similar properties with how I wanted to refinish it, how much they were booked, how much they were asking for a night. Obviously, if you're giving a little bit more amenities and you're asking a reasonable price for less, you're more likely to get bookings. Um, I looked at, you know, offering pets to um, pets to come because that's a big thing for a lot of travelers and if, with the right finishes allowing pets is um, pretty easy so um, air DNA and um, just even like looking at Airbnb reaching out to a local agent just to ask about the market it's always good to have an ally in the market I know that I get people all the time asking me about stuff that's not on the market we know about that but I know about things that come on the market that are coming on the market if you have a great agent partner wherever it is that you're looking um, it's always good. You might you might get a little bit of a heads up right before something comes on and that's so valuable. I have got to get back. I have a couple miles ahead of me and I'm down to half a coffee. So <laughs> I'm going to try to get back before the rain starts. Uh, you guys have a great day. If you have any questions about something like that, also, you know, um, look at auctions. Like real estate auctions, that's how, that's how we got our Airbnb place in Safety Harbor was um, looking at auctions. So they might be coming back. I know around here, I've noticed that they've really slowed down a bit, but now the market's picking back up again. Um, maybe people have been borrowing equity against their house. Uh, you might find some good stuff on um, local real estate auctions. And some of those are held at the county websites. So it's not always on like auction.com or whatever. Uh, you can look at the, the 